Sunday, minus five degrees. I was out for a quick run. Which way you want to take? were beautiful. Everything seemed connected. something strange happening in these woods. Maybe someone was living here. Hmm. I saw a cottage. It seemed abandoned, but the door was open. Inside, it was mostly empty. I saw tilted picture frames hanging on the walls and a dusty cupboard by the door. It was a private place, and it looked like someone had recently visited. Weird. Hey, boxes. Physics? Ooh, that's some physics. That's pretty good. Hey, open drawer. I reject your reality. Put you okay, open drawer. Letter. I don't know what is going on with you. You leave early in the mornings and come home late at night. The only time I get to see you is when you are asleep. It's going to be hard for me. I'm afraid it's not going to work out between us, and I'm sure you know that, and I'm hoping we'll do something to make it all good, Emily. Mm-hmm. Well, that's a board. Huh. What is 
ですね。There was a graveyard covered by snow. It reminded me of my uncle. He passed away in a car accident not too long ago. But there was something unusual. I saw an animal's leg sticking out of one of the tombstones. What is that? Nope. Oh shit! Run! Buckets of nope. Don't look back! Don't look back! I should find a place to hide. There's that houses. I think that thing is gone. I should unlock the door and run back home. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Which way is back home anyway? Huh? Our no, shit. no. Ah! <laughs> He grew up in a poor family, in a small house near these woods. He had a family, a wife and his four-year-old. He hunted wildlife to bring food back home. One cold winter's day, he was hunting deep in the woods. They had only enough food left for one more meal.
was almost dark and he was far from home. He had to be quick. That fucking bell, man. That rising bell. of searching, he was exhausted and had nearly lost hope. Oh shit, am I stuck? He grew up in a poor family, in a small house near these woods. He had a family, a wife and his four-year-old. He hunted wildlife to bring food back home. One cold winter's day, he was hunting deep in the woods. They had only enough food left for one more meal. It was almost dark, and he was far from home. He had to be quick. of searching, he was exhausted and had nearly lost hope. And then he found something. He kept a far distance and drew his gun. He couldn't miss this shot. He lined up the sights and pulled the trigger. The deer fell to the ground. He ran towards it to pick it up. And right then, a baby fawn came out to lie next to its dying mother. He told me it was the worst feeling of his life. He had destroyed another's family to provide for his own. As tears rolled down his cheeks, he closed his eyes tight and remembered how many lives he'd taken. He opened his eyes and there they were, 
every life he took all around him. It was hard for him to comprehend. He couldn't believe his eyes and that he was guilty of what he had done. He threw his gun and ran away. That was the last time he hunted. I wasn't sure what happened. I couldn't see much further. And then I saw him lying on the ground. He had been shot. I shouted, Somebody help! I shouted again, begging for help. But no one answered. decided to take the dear man's mission forward. There has to be a reason to live. And I had just found one. I was in the same path where I first met the dear man. I remember how he ran towards me and I did the same. started to run. Faster and faster. I didn't want to stop. The deer ran along with me, on my right and on my left. For the first time in my life, I felt a true love for the wildlife. I am the deer man. Pretty neat. 
is a thing. So that was Deer Man. Um, I gotta say it was a lot shorter than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, it, was, it was a pretty straightforward expl like exploration game. And uh, it was visually interesting. It was very bright. But the use of negative space was pretty cool. It seems like uh, there really wasn't ter too terribly much to do, so, uh, I mean, the interaction in the world was mostly movement, and just being in places, uh, just experiencing the atmosphere, that was really neat. Yeah. Very atmospheric. I'd say it's one of the most original approaches to making, like, a, a feeling generator, basically, getting people to feel things. It's pretty interesting. I love the sound of the game, too. Like that bell that just kept ringing and building up in intensity was really cool. And the, the tongue-slapping whispers in the graveyard. It was pretty cool stuff. Like, uh, it makes you feel kind of skin crawly, a bit unnerving. The overall, it was really, really well done little piece. And, uh, yeah. The Deer Man.